Beat stupid Bobby Zilch in the levitation race. Okay, it's time to see how fast you are, darling. Ready? Get set? Go, baby, go! Roger that, uh, Roger Wilco. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hoovering up figments. I just know that Bobby Zilch is gonna cheat. I don't know how yet, but I know that he will. Probably using something super lame. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Oh no. Oh, I screwed that up real good. Yeah! No! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I blew that. He didn't even have to cheat. I just threw it away at the very end there thinking I could hit a thing. Dang it. I threw it all away. Oh, <laughs> got him on the inside. You did it! You are quick like greasy lightning. I'm so proud of you, darling. Thank you. You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? Uh, yes, the party in your mind. Okay, if you want to get up to where the action is, you're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. Mission complete. Oh, hey, luggage tag. I gotta hand it to Raz. He is really good at staying on this sphere. Oh my gosh, it's a giant CPU fan. One of these days, cobwebs. One of these days. If you float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. I do like these bubbles. It's like lava lamp bubbles. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Okay. <laughs> Trying to just open the door to the party room. Oh, what's up, party room? Wait, I thought I heard... Did I hear luggage? I could have sworn I heard baggage. Oh yeah, there she is. You're all good, suitcase. Hey, there she is. Man, everybody is just boogieing. No one else is having a hard time with their psychic training, huh? Everyone else is just out here just partying. Who's that I see? It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star in the flesh. And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Oh, yes. I have a little party favor for you. Oh my. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Check in my backpack. So cute. <gasps> Rolling rock star. Hey, hey. Goggles. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. See, you can't just chalk it up to I'm afraid he's just like that. That's why we need me, Psychic Astronaut. I don't remember which dock I'm allowed to dock at. Hey, let me off this canoe, please. Okay, there we go. Hey! You're still being a jerk, huh? Arrowheads. Change my hat situation. Oh yeah, absolutely. What kind of hat situation can I interest you in, sugar-free D? Dealer's Mental choice. Mental cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the device up here in the main large store. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb dusty before they're all sold out? Oh, let's see. The most psychic hat? Okay, okay, most psychic hat. What do you think about this one? The mind's eye. The third eye upon the third chakra thing, whatever. 
mind's eye hat. It is always looking and it never blinks, for it is aligned with all of my chakra stuff. Perfect. Thank you. Give me this jump one time, I know I can make it. There it is. That was a full I rank right there. On the main store, we have a special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Quick boost of mental health. Ah. Whoa. There we Remember go. to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Nailed it. Float. This looks ominous. What are you doing here, kid? Whoa. Uh, Elton. I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Carry on, sailor. Man, this is a, just a, how you say, there's a lot of love at this camp, considering everyone looks like they're in middle school. Do I have enough to buy the cobweb vacuumer? How much did I say that that cost? Oh no. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me and shave and like peel off my skin and That's wear my skin like it's their own guys skin. just left all their stuff out here. wonder what happened to them. <laughs> He's still mumbling, huh? Let me into the lodge, hamburger helper guy. The Elk Lodge, with the secret handshake. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Whoa, that's my last cobweb duster. Take now with that, you can change the color of some of your... Whoa, that's my last 800. cobweb duster. 800, now with that, 800, I'm not now even now close. here's something every young Sir cadet needs. Attracts mental health and other useful like I would not That's mind having now. a mental magnet. All right, go get more airheads. Just to vacuum in that stuff. That stuff has proved to be kind of tricky to get my arms around. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Must not be. Or that's exactly what the arrowheads want me to think. Oh right, I'm gonna go save Dogan's brain. Another side marker. Another side challenge marker. I think I have enough cores to go ahead and craft that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep, we can go ahead and do that real quick. Whoa. Look at these cars. So I assume Oleander drives the giant military Jeep. Huh, who drives the super fancy sports car? My inability to make it through this door is driving me insane. Okay, then. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? To the psychic Sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. I am the most noble psycho master. Not this one. This one. Hey! And that's rank 30. Oh, for the good guys. What you got for me, Home Slice? In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Invisibility. What? Neat? <laughs> okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. On a completely unrelated topic, did you know that you can use the power of invisibility to cloud the visual cortex of all those around you? Oh, hey, I use it on somebody. Go? Okay. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Yes. Uh. Well said, Agent Cruller. Well said. Also, you're named after a fantastic dessert. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Cruller? Nine's lab, please. Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. Mine carts. They're good for transporting Donkey Kong, Mario, and Raz. Okay. I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. 
Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Here we go. Brain Tumblr experiment. You don't scare me anymore, scary vines. I said scary facetiously that time. You're not actually scary anymore. Because now I can pick you out from a mile away, especially if it's one that I've battled already. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. Ah! Oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! <laughs> Oh no, Lily. TV. This is a tank. Oh, there's a timer. And confusion grenades reverse my controls. <laughs> Seems like I'm gonna need telekinesis more than I'm gonna need double jump. Invisibility's been nice. Oh, okay. Okay, how do I make you rear up? Man, I am so smart. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. Oh man, there was so much data on there, so many numbers. Soft, so soft, so gelatinous. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh no, oh man, okay. Careful, me. That's fine. Okay, ah! Served. Oh, that blew up all of the things. Whoa, what the hell? Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. He's still got confusion bombs. Okay. Now he blew his mind? Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? I was gonna say, it Wait a minute. Am I an Oleander's mind? Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official Psychonauts business. Wait! So is this! It's official Psychonaut, eh? 
You forgot your... Hmm. That was Oleander's mind. That was the section... Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... Quarter? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Okay. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. He's had his brain removed. TV. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? What? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency. And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing. Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me. Oh, my God! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? It's a trap. What? Lily! Let's get him! I can't. Can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to, um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Bathysphere, meet Lily at the beach. That is technically complete, though hopefully she is okay. The lung, oh, that was a lung fish, oh, gross. There's so many card pieces up here. Uh, is this some sort of mountain lion that breathes fire? <laughs> I'm in real good. Oh, crap. Well, you got me. End of the bath is via. My head broke that? That seems so dangerous. And bad for my head. Ow. Okay, that was obviously a trap. <laughs> the crabs and fishes don't seem to really appreciate this situation. Yep. Why are there so many boxes and nails and stuff? Is there a snails joke in here that I'm not getting? The creature's prints are still glowing. This must be where he brought Lily. I fell in love with Lily. 404. Oh, I can afford the mental magnet now. But I really need the cobweb duster. A magical bell. What do you think of that, lungfish? You jerk. You big jerk. That is truly horrible.
Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Oh, sick burn. Hit him with the burn. What do you think of those nails? Don't, don't you spit garbage at me. Okay. Oh, some more nails. It's a trap! Uh, oh, I'm looking through hit. Ah! He can move my air bubble around? Ooh, arrowheads. Poor gross little sucker fish. He can't breathe. I am not sure where I'm supposed to be going. All right, there we are. If I kill it, will it drop me some health? It will! None of this stuff is designed to survive in air. Ouch! Oh, you didn't like that, did you, Mr. Jelly Donut Man? I love the details in this game, like the hands on the outside of the bubble, yeah. Because they just want to grab me. Water wants to kill me. Just because some gypsy told it to. Come on, water. If a gypsy told you to jump off of a bridge, would you do it? I'm not afraid of you hands. I am afraid of you hands. But not like in an afraid way, just like in a, in a, are you going to grab me and drag me underwater kind of way. <gasps> a sweet grinding rail. That was close. <laughs> Almost overshot that. Just a smidge. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. I'm trying to find additional health. Yeah, you won't do it. Run me. <laughs> Down to the last hit point. It's the only one that matters. Sorry, Lungfish. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. It's a big thing. Yeah. Go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Wow, I don't have one hit point left. I have one quarter of one hit point left. Oh, poor little thing. Slap. Goggles on. New Donk City. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Get to Kochamara Tower and destroy it. Well, oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, am I the good guy? It's okay, everyone. Gogalore missed the orphanage. Uh... Hey, Gogalore! Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow! My ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. 
What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Well, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gargalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gargalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Another psychic power? Yes, indeed. Hey, is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gargalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gargalore. For freedom!